feel so cute. Hi friends! I have been requested to make this video and I was actually a little scared to make this video mainly because I don't know how it's going to be received and truly as a Christian I shouldn't be worried about that and so when somebody had actually suggested me doing a video based on this I was like okay I'm gonna do it and I'm just gonna share my heart so here we go. So today I wanted to share some aspects of being a Christian in musical theater and pursuing a career in musical theater. As a lot of people have seen, musical theater is a very cross-cultural and dynamic career to take on. It includes a lot of different backgrounds of people's lives and their choices and beliefs and it's just really difficult sometimes to be involved in that when you don't want your core beliefs or anything to be shaken or to be changed. And I think too it's kind of scary for me mainly because I know what I believe and I know my boundaries and my beliefs but I'm always afraid that they're not going to be accepted by other people and that I'll be shunned or I'll lose friends because of it and it's really hard because I want to love on people and I want to be friends with people no matter what the circumstances are because that's what I'm called to do and that's my heart that's what I want to do so as a Christian and as a lover of musical theater and the arts I wanted to share this because I know of so many people who have been struggling with this idea and who have reached out to me and just been so encouraging and supportive and saying that they were rooting for me and that they are you know really Really supporting me and everything that I'm doing and that they love to see how I'm doing this as a Christ follower. With that being said, I only have a few minutes before I have to head to work today, so I thought I would go ahead and film some things and kind of share some ways that I cope with being a Christ follower in musical theater and how I keep my faith and my beliefs secure through all of it. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just basically going to give you guys some bullet points on some ways to really make sure that you are keeping the faith throughout your career in musical theater. These are really just things that I've learned myself and that I'm still learning and continuing to figure out. So if you guys have any other suggestions or ways that you guys cope with this idea, please go ahead and comment them or message me because I would love to know what you guys kind of go through or what you guys do to really help yourselves to stay secure and who you are and who you are as a Christ follower. So the first one is understanding your boundaries and your convictions. Truly everybody's convictions are different. I know a few people who have certain convictions that are different than mine, but what I have really found is that everybody has to be convicted of certain things in their lives that will prick their hearts or they'll be like, you know what, I really feel strongly about this and I, I think I'm going to take steps to move away from it or move towards it. However, you know, it, it needs to be in your life. And hopefully that makes sense, but on the concerned about boundaries, I feel that I have to really make sure that I'm understanding what I allow in my life and what I do not allow in my life. I don't really prefer cussing and I don't really like it when people cuss around me, but I know that I can't control everybody and I have to kind of get over that. I also do not like it when people make very inappropriate jokes, as a lot of people do not like it, but they kind of go along to get along. I don't like it mainly because it makes me feel uncomfortable and I don't know how to interact with people who do that, mainly because I just don't feel comfortable interacting in that way. So I feel like in those very basic ways or in those basic concepts or situations that I just mentioned, I feel like I have to know my boundaries and where I draw the line at certain things because I know what I believe, I know what I, what I hold myself accountable for and it's my job to make sure that I'm continuing to hold myself accountable for them. Hopefully that all made sense. It was a little jumbled, I will be honest, but truly the whole idea is making sure that you understand what you believe is okay and what you believe is not okay. And that goes based on scripture, making sure that you're aligning yourself with God's word and understanding what you're supposed to be upholding and taking down as a Christ follower. So the second one is something that I'm trying to do right now, but it's developing your identity in Christ as you develop your career in musical theater. I feel like it's a hand-in-hand -hand situation and you have to make sure that you're balancing 
your passion for musical theater and being in shows and performing and doing new things with spending time in the word and prayer and just ministering, serving, going to church, being in Bible studies. There has to be a good balance between both of those. And truly I'm struggling with this because I'm always so busy with theater that I don't always have time for Bible studies or get togethers or things like that. And I try to make sure that I am making time for that. So it's so important to have a good balance. The third thing is something that I'm also currently doing right now and it's really paid off, but it is surrounding yourself with very encouraging and like-minded people like yourself. This is really helpful because when you have those people around you that are going to support you and encourage you in the word and in Christ and give you scripture and advice based on God's word and what a Christian is supposed to do, I feel like it really does give you that support that you need and it also just is a great outlet for when you're in a time of struggle or need or you just feel like you need some encouragement and when you go to those people they automatically give you that word that you need or that piece of scripture that will really encourage your soul so I definitely recommend having those people in your life this is a hard one as well this kind of goes with the one that I mentioned previously but spending time in church and in the word and really making sure that you are going to church and staying consistent with hearing the lessons and studying the word it can be really difficult when you're in musical theater especially if you're touring or if you're having to travel it's really difficult trying to make sure that you are actually going to church on Sunday and spending time in Bible studies like I had mentioned. So I would say trying your best to make sure that that is a consistent part of your schedule. Now number six kind of goes with the first one that I mentioned, but don't allow people and their choices to pressure you into getting out of your boundaries or crossing a line of your boundary. Make sure that you're staying strong and don't allow somebody to pressure you into something that you're not comfortable with or you're not okay with. This can go for really anybody. If you believe something or if you feel strongly about something or you feel uncomfortable with something, you automatically should know your breaking point or your boundary line. Make sure that you don't allow people to do that because if people do that to you, you don't necessarily want to have those people in your life. Number seven is one that kind of goes with number six. Explain to people what your boundaries are, especially if they ask, because a lot of the times there will be people who will be like, hey, I want to make sure that I'm being respectful of you and your beliefs. So let me know, like whenever something is, you know, over the edge or I do something or I say something, let me know because we want to respect each other. And a lot of the times I have heard of people having that situation and that experience. And it's so encouraging to know that people do want to respect you. So I would say explain to people what your boundaries are and why you have them, because 10 out of 10, there's a lot of times where people will be like, hey, I totally respect that. No worries. Like, I'll make sure that, that that doesn't happen in a situation or that if you do feel uncomfortable, you can always let me know. So I would say try your best to explain those things to people because most of the time they will be respectful. And I can't stress this enough, but don't let fear control your life especially when you're in musical theater and you're trying to do everything right and you're trying to make sure that you're making the right choices and everything, don't let fear run your life. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of what's going on. Be aware of the shows that you're doing, the people you're doing them with, and just understanding who you are as a person, as a Christ follower, and what your boundaries are. Of course, all wrapped into one, but make sure that you're not allowing this fear of changing or things going wrong or you making a mistake keep you from reaching out to people people or from doing that task that God has sent you to. So just know that fear should not be a, a factor in this whole journey. Number nine, I will say, is a big one. Find ways to be Jesus to your castmates, to your directors, to your choreographer. This may not look like sharing the gospel on the spot, but it may look like, you know, sharing an encouraging word or just serving them, ministering to them, praying with them, asking them if they need anything, sharing, you know, words of encouragement. I think I'd already said that before. When you have this light just like exuding from you, knowing that your savior is within you, it just really does shine out when you allow it to. So don't be afraid to just shine Jesus everywhere you go because it'll make a difference whether you like it or not. It will make a difference and that's one step forward. Last but not least, this is something personal, but prayer, it's so important and it really does help in the long run. Remember that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, praying is something that I always love to do before shows, when I'm in the car, when I'm at home, when I'm journaling, just whenever I can, just asking God for wisdom, asking God for strength or energy or peace or joy, allowing him 
to fill me with the Holy Spirit and just being led in a direction that I feel I'm really shaky about or I'm not sure about. And all of the times he has given me answers or opened doors. Sometimes it hasn't been immediately, but it's been down the road where I'm like, oh, I get it now. So yeah, prayer is so important and I can't stress it enough. I hope that these tips were encouraging to you and that they made sense. If you want more advice or anything like that, let me know. I really wanna make sure that I'm being encouraging and that I'm able to share everything that I can give. So I hope that this was very informative and encouraging to you. And I can't wait for another rehearsal vlog to start very soon. We should be finding out the next musical coming up and it'll be in the spring of next year. So stay tuned and I'm excited for what is to come. Bye friends.